the day after the furore over banning the Russian translation of Bhagavad Gita distracted Lok Sabha, External Affairs Minister S. M. Krishna will address the lower house of parliament. Now he is also expected to update the house on what the government plans to do diplomatically to stop the implementation of the ban there. While protests were witnessed across the country following a plea in a Russian court seeking a ban on the Bhagavad Gita. Prosecutors have petitioned that the Gita distributed by the ISKCON is extremist literature. Now the affidavit allegedly claims that Lord Krishna is evil and not conforming to Christian religious values. These views have been condemned by both ISKCON and the opposition parties of course. Uh, just for the sake of world peace, all leaders, our Muslim brothers, Christian brothers, everybody should condemn this uh, this move by Russian court and should be stopped. It is high time the government of India must take a very tough stand with the government of Russia. To be very frank to you, this kind of nonsense must not be tolerated. We all respect all the religions, including their epics. It doesn't mean that a Gita, the great sacred text of Gita should be abused in this manner. But it's not just politicians, people across India also find the logic given before the court in Russia for banning the Gita were inexplicable. Well, that's right. Here are some of those agitated voices coming your way now. Um, I don't think so at all. I think it's a, a religious book. It has great literary significance aside from its, you know, religious tones. And Russia isn't a communist country any longer. It considers itself a democracy. And, you know, the banning of books doesn't really go with the values of a democracy. It's not at all extremist book. Moreover, there is an extremist in our life called sorrow, which constantly invades us. 